Hi, I'm Clara from California, and STOA has been an incredible opportunity in my life. I think one of the main ways it's impacted me is it's helped me to be able to think critically and then also articulate my position with clarity. I used to come away from spiritually significant conversations and get frustrated because half an hour later, I would think of something that might have helped in the moment. STOA has helped me decrease that reaction time so I can engage with people for the kingdom more effectively. But also, STOA has just been so much fun. It's been the highlight of my high school years. I love the competition because it's rigorous and it's demanding, but it also is done in a God-honoring way. And the friendships and the memories that I've made are incredible. I will have them for the rest of my life. If you are somebody who helps make STOA what it is, whether it be a parent, a community judge, a tournament director, or one of my fellow competitors, thank you so much for participating in STOA and for working hard to make it the incredible community and opportunity that it is. I really appreciate it. What's up? My name is Daniel and I am from Texas. I've been competing in STOA for the past six years. I think the most meaningful aspect of speech and debate for me was how it was able to bring my family together. One of my favorite memories was nationals my junior year, which was my last nationals I got to compete at because Corona, where I was giving one of my speeches, and this was a really special speech to me because I shared my story and I opened up about some struggles, and this was a really hard speech for me to give. And so throughout the year, I did not let my mom watch the speech, but my mom thought, hey, it's nationals, Daniel's last chance for to give this speech, so I'm gonna go watch him. So my mom snuck in the back, and as I'm delivering my speech, I look at my mom and I notice that she's sobbing. We walk out the door and my mom immediately embraces me. We're hugging, we're crying. And she turns to me and she says, Daniel, I am so proud of who you are. I'm so thankful to Stoa for giving me that sweet encounter with my mom. Hi there, I'm Cora Armani and I've had the opportunity to compete in Stoa in Colorado for the past three years. On this side of competition, I now have the opportunity to talk for a minute and just say thank you to the people of STOA who have made an impact in my life. I like to start by saying, when I think about STOA, what I think of is a blessing. I defined STOA as a blessing in talking to one of my friends. But what I mean by that is I've had the opportunity to get to know some amazing people. So I just want to thank those of my fellow seniors for coming alongside me, encouraging me, especially during this season when this year isn't going the way that we had planned. I like to thank those who have gone before me for setting an example. I'm really excited to now be a part of an incredible group of alumni. And to those who still compete, here's the torch. Guys, keep competing for the glory of God. Let, let that be your sole focus in your competition. Hi, I'm Becca Fike from Interitus Debate Club in Georgia, and I've been debating for the past four years. And STOA has impacted me in many different ways. The first way that has impacted me, though, is through relationships. I've met so many different amazing people, not only the competitors themselves, but also the parents and the judges and all those who have made the debate tournaments happen. And I'm super thankful for all of those people. Stowe has also impacted the way that I think about things. Now I'm able to look at both sides of the issue and not just one perspective, but look at the different sides and see why I believe what I believe. Stowe has been a means of pulling me out of my comfort zone and making me try new things. So for, for all those who are still going to be debating, keep it up and have fun. Hi everyone, I'm George from Resolve in the wonderful state of Colorado, and STOA has really impacted me so much in the last four years. In the last four years, I've made so many good friends, and I've learned so many life lessons, both physically and how to speak to people, and spiritually with through apologetics and through just having good conversations with friends and coaches. STOA has impacted me so much and it has been so much fun too. I actually came to STOA because my mom was a community judge and I started out as a timer and I've loved STOA ever since. And one thing I would like everyone to take away from this year is that we should really savor our time we have with our friends and compete for God's glory, just not our own glory, because our own glory really won't matter at the end of the day. Hey everyone, my name is Madeline and I'm from Arizona. The past six years, competing in speech and debate have changed every aspect of who I am as a person. And I think that's why it's been so hard for all of us to say goodbye before we were ready. 
After I found out My Talk 2020 would be cancelled, I went back through every single ballot I've received over the past six years. And I just wanted to say that the words that you wrote on my ballots years ago are still continuing to impact me today. So I want to take the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for your words. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your constructive criticism that teaches us to strive for excellence in every area. We're forever grateful. Thank you, my Stoa community. I'll miss you. Hey y'all, James here from Virginia. I've been in Stoa for about three years, so not nearly as long as some of y'all, and not even nearly as long as some freshmen I know. But if I was to give one way that Stoa impacted me, and sort of a piece of advice too, it would be to intentionally invest in the little things, and not to obsess over results. So in other words, speech ranks is not the end all of Stoa. We have some pretty tiny tournaments out here in Virginia, so there aren't very many opportunities for me to rack up the points and get on the leaderboards. A memorable tournament for me was meeting someone new outside the APOL room, or praying with someone before their speech round, or confusing the poor community judge by laughing hysterically with my opponents, who are also my friends. And that's why Stoa is so unique. We're surrounded by dads and moms and peers who legitimately want each other to succeed and glorify the Lord. So thank you all for being the most amazing community I've had during high school, and I'm really going to miss you.